welcome back, Hookaholics. Yep, it came. So the uh, my edition of the February Mystery Tackle Box Elite uh, came in the mail today. I was actually expecting another package. Uh, I got the notification on my emails. Um, and then surprisingly, this showed up instead. And the other package said, went for delivery but could not reach delivery address, which is bunk. But anyway, hopefully tomorrow I'll get the package I was expecting. That being said, February's Mystery Tackle Box Elite. Um, I have seen a really cool YouTuber who I, I have a lot of respect for, uh, North Fork Fishing 12. He did his unboxing. Uh, he does, I don't remember, he did the Pro Box, I believe. Um, but uh, yeah, not very impressive um, MTB. So I'm hoping that this is not a repeat of what he got in his. If it is, uh, this might be a very, very short-lived video. Um, because if it's not worthwhile, I'm not going to kind of waste my time on it and yours. Um, I'm going to leave a, uh, a link for his, uh, for his channel and that video down in the description below. So you can check out his unboxing. Um, let's see. So, if you don't know, Mystery Tackle Box is a mail order uh, subscription company. And uh, they give you these boxes each month. I get the Elite version. There's three tiers. The Standard, Pro, and Elite. Elite's the top of the line. Um, basically, I get an all-bass box, but they have multi-species boxes. When you go down to the pro level, they have uh, panfish boxes and trout, well, like trout boxes and uh, uh, saltwater boxes and things like that, inshore. Um, so you can get more customized boxes, but typically, you know, in, in fishing, a lot of bass fishing baits are multi-species to begin with. Um, that said, Every box gets a what's in the card box. My box has two, four, six, eight, nine, nine baits. Lucky number. Um, so I got line nine, line nine baits or pieces of tackle or equipment. It comes with a dibble digest, like the rush tackle box. It's a little pamphlet. Gives you a couple hints and tips. Um, on this one, we have the two best ways to rig a swim bait. So that's going to tell me there's probably a swim bait in this box. On the inside, we have how to fish a jerk bait and how to fish a drop shot. So I'm going to assume through the dibble, without even looking at what's in the box, that I've got a swim bait uh, and a drop shot and a jerk bait. So we will see. Now, if this falls in line with Norfolk's, or North Forks, um, then um, yeah, it's going to have a swim bait and a jerk bait and some other crap. And looking in the box... It does indeed. So, we'll just take this off the top of the list. $9.99, Guggen Baits, infamous Guggen Squad Baits, Hard Bait, The Scout. This is a uh, Guggen's brand little jerk bait uh, by Catchco Collabs. So, they use the Guggen's name and the Catchco company to uh, put out these baits. It's a 4 to 6 foot diving, 4 and 1 third inch, half ounce. Uh, jerk bait. Color on this one is Pro Blue, number eight. Um, it is taped shut, so let's razor blade ourselves open. It's kind of interesting to have it taped shut like it's made out of platinum, but whatever. There you go, two little plate tape pads gone. Hopefully, I don't cut my butts in the razor blade there. I believe, if I'm not mistaken, this has like eight rattles in it, something like that. Uh, let's see, uh, four, five, six, seven, nine rattles. Nope, eight rattles. Yep, eight rattles. Four in the head, four in the belly. Balance weight it. Little bill. Stick my finger. Now I'm bleeding. Lovely. <laughs> so, we got that little Guggen squad. Uh, sticky enough hooks. To jab my finger, so that's a plus. I'm sure this will work well in the in the uh, in the spring. Jerk baits, killers in the spring. Uh, next down, something that I already had one of in a previous MTB bait box was this. It is a bit gimmicky. There's two varieties. They have a silent and a rattling one. This is the Yozuri JDM. Uh, they call this the knuckleball or well, knuckle bait. Um, it is a it's basically, 
it's a it's an offshoot of a spinner bait without the blade. So you don't have a Colorado or a Willow blade. Um, you have this marble, this plastic ball. Now there's two varieties. They have a silent one, which is their prism, which is this. So this oddly flat side. It's you know it's a round edge, but interior it's got a cube. And so when the light passes through it, it gives a flash and a prism effect. So you can see there with the, the light from the camera. Um, and then it just, you know, it's your typical flat side swim bait. Um, I don't know. The, the silent, it, it doesn't do anything for me. At least the rattling ones give me the idea that yeah, it's going to throw off a lot more sound with the rattles inside this ball as this ball's kind of wiggling behind or wiggling in front of, of your, your trailer. Um, I don't know. I have the one that's that's burgundy red, almost matches the card here, uh, the red and black color. It too is a silent, and I just I, I haven't caught anything on it. I just don't think. I think it's more gimmicky in in appearance than it is in functionality. Maybe, like I say, if at some point I get in my box a um, a rattling one, I might be able to be proven wrong. But. Uh, so far, they, they haven't done anything. Both those baits, the Gookin Squad's $9.99, paying for the name. Yozuri's 3DB Knuckle Bait, the Knuckle Ball, is also $9.99. $1 less, for $8.99, they have the Bomber Jointed Wake Minnow. Ah, okay. So, Bomber's Wake Minnow, great color, copper gold kind of colors. This one is gold black original. So this is a uh, five and three eighths inch long, three quarter ounce surface jointed wake minnow. So again, it's a wake bait, but it's a jointed wake bait. What wake baits set off top water floats, obviously, and the plow here is is almost you know parallel. So it's going to give you that hopefully that nice V in the water as you're dragging it through. And of course, it's got that nice joint on the back. I'll be interested to throw this copper, copper, gold, silver, always good color, uh, good color combinations, and it still has that bright, brilliant orange on the bottom. Um, a little chartreuse V here would have been also awesome. Little black spot to emulate eyes on the back end. Um, again, just to cue them in to hit not just the front where the eyes are. But there's a little dot back there, so if they're not going to short strike and ignore that. They're going to, you know, get something. They're going to hone in and attack that reaction strike. Again, $8.99. That actually, that's a good bait for me. I like, I like that a lot. I can't wait for summer and that the top water comes back. I'll definitely be throwing that quite a bit, along with my other weight baits. Um, Weston's Ring Tees ST. $6.99 for a pack of six soft plastic paddle tail swim baits. Five inch, quarter ounce, six pack, multi mix color swim baits. Now, um, North Fork kind of shot, you know, shot these down. I know for a fact Weston brand, it's a decent brand and it's a very overpriced brand. It's very expensive. So that being said, you know, six dollars for a pack of swim baits is, is an astronomical price. But when you're talking brand manufacturers like Six Sense or Weston, um, you know, you're get you're paying for that brand. You're paying for quality over quantity, and you're paying for a bag that doesn't want to freaking open. <laughs> so let's slice it there. More one way to skin a cat. It does come in a little clamshell. That won't last long. I will say this. You do have a decent selection of colors. You've got, uh, you know, you've got the chartreuse, oh, excuse me, chartreuse with a uh, orange paddle. You've got this perfect little green pumpkin here with red flake. You got your watermelon candy. You got your typical June bug. And you got your black blue. Nice floppy ribbed with, um, you know, which will catch a lot of water and cause a lot of uh, bubble trail uh, with each cast. So that's pretty cool. Um, did point out that these are an odd, an odd injection mold. The main body structure is basically flat on top, 
keeled on the bottom, but then it has a full rib that goes all the way around it, almost like it's like semi-double poured, like they pour the center head and the tail section, and then they go and put it back in the mold that has the rings, and they kind of adhere that to it. So it's kind of cool, but nevertheless, I can see these being a very valuable, very good, um, very good fish catcher. Now, this chartreuse one may be cut down and used as a trailer on this might actually work. I wouldn't, you know, obviously I wouldn't throw this whole bloody massive thing out there, but uh, maybe cut in half and just use the tail section as a trailer on the Yozuri might be a good combination, um, you know, come spring for those, uh, for those active, active fish. So close that clamshell up. Again, that was $6.99. Next, standout live shotten. This, I agree 100% with, uh, with him on his review. This is a really interesting design feature. So basically, they've got a feather fly uh, attached to it, but you can get just the hooks themselves. Basically what it is, is it's if you took a, a long shank worm hook, you took the hook, came up, made a little loop, and then came up and then bent down the, uh, the, the, uh, the tie eye, uh, like 90 degrees to it or, or maybe 33 degrees to it and basically what you have is you have a, a new position to tie your line to the original hook eye becomes a through hole for your drop shot leader to the weight and what happens is now you're basically replicating a snell knot so as the fish hits and you pull the weight holds it back a little bit of tension and it'll lip it'll hook that 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 fish up at the top of the roof of the mouth because it'll you know it'll just jack it'll lever cantilever the hook into the fish's mouth um this is good for, as i say for bass walleye and panfish it's the large large fry pattern is the one i got number two hooks so they're small little drop shots they call it large fry black shad is the color they've got which is basically a a nice white and black with some uh, green speckled marabou flash inside that's pretty cool they want six dollars and 25 cents so, yeah, $3.12 for each one of these. I, I don't know. $3.12 for the pack. Yeah, $3.12 each. Eh. I'm not a fly fisherman. I'm not really big into, you know, panfish drop shotting. And baits that small, it's a panfish drop shot. It's not really a largemouth bass uh, bait, in my opinion. Um, next up, Bass Dynasty's Dynacraw. I do like these. I like the design. This is the black WI Red Flake, black with Red Flake. So, it's, you know, typical black Red Flake. It is a pack of four. Four, that's it. Just four. Four little trailers. If the Yozuri was that red one, which I actually have, this would be a great trailer. If these were in a chartreuse or green pumpkin, then they'd be a trailer on that Yozuri that I got in this box. As it stands, uh, you know, black and red flake, it's not going to really go color, you know, coordinated with anything that I've got in here so far. Um, small bag for quantity. Three inch Dynacraws, small bag, should have been, you know, eight, six, eight. Anyway, Dynacraws, Bass Dynasty, five dollars and ninety nine cents for four of what should have been a six or eight count bag. Not happy about that. Stickies, stickies. They always had terminal tackle. Stickies is awesome hooks. I will say that never fail. This is a. Uh, EWG size 3 aught 7 pack. So you got 7 EWG hooks. Stickies do make, you know, it's, it's a Carl's shop, Carl's brand, um, but they do make excellent, excellent, super sharp hooks. Good EWG. Show you that offset eye. Great for flukes, great for worm fishing, Texas rigged. Obviously, these flukes here will, uh, will do very well with those stickies hooks. So, we'll throw those together, certainly. Uh, I'm going to leave this one last. 
Carl Stash drop shot weights. So we've got a series of four, four drop shot weights in the three sixteenths. I personally like to use, I'm sure I have one sitting here. I like to use uh, three sixteenths, the pencils. I don't particularly go for these spheres um, when I'm drop shotting. So here's a 3 16th lead drop shot weight. I just particularly care to use these size and style 3 16th um, rather than the Carl Stash, which are the spears. That's just my personal preference. I like to have it drop and tick, tick. If, if it lands in silt and mud and muck, uh, I just find that the cylinder pops down, you can pop it back out. The round ones, they sink in, you drag them, and you just, me personally, I feel that it's more apt if you're fishing, especially in rocky areas, where that ball, I'll use the Uzuri, look at that, see it's going to come in handy anyway. So you've got this spherical um, drop shot weight, that ball can end up getting caught between rocks and get hung up, where the cylinder can get caught and it'll, it'll pull straight out. I just find less hang-ups and less lost weights uh, when drop shotting when I use the cylinder, the cylinder shape. That's just me. Um, I, I fish a lot of snaggy. I mean, when you're drop shotting, you drop shot everywhere. And I drop shot into a lot of snaggy uh, particular areas with a lot of down tree limbs and a lot, and obviously tree limbs, forks, you get caught, and a lot of rocky areas with uh, some riprap basically old construction, concrete, what have you, that they've dumped in to, to build structure. Those $2.99, good price. Got a cool sticker. Didn't show that at the beginning. Every box has a cool sticker. This one is, well, it's an exploding uh, float. So it's a floaty bomb. Uh, I'll add that up there to my wall of, or my little picture frames of stickers. And then finally, the, uh, the icing on the cake and what really upset me, uh, seeing that video from North Fork and this video that I'm making right now, from Catchco's Carl's Amazing Bait Company, their own brand, their own purely profitable, as I've said in the past, filler, um, a sample pack of four. Is it four or is it three? Four. Four of the Carl's Amazing Baits Varmint. So it's a beaver tail. It's an awesome bait. And it's in a pathetically small quantity. Four baits of this crawfish beaver tail. Four. That's just not acceptable. And in an elite box where the premise is no sample packs ever. To me, a four pack of these black and red flake Dino Cross and a four pack of the Carl's Amazing Baits, uh, what do they call these again? The Varmints? Yeah, Varmints. If I go on shop Carl's upstairs and their Varmints don't come in four packs, they come in six, eight, tens, then this is a sample pack, in which case you're completely disreputable to what you say when you sell these elite brands. The elite box was to have no sample packs ever. Um, so I'm, I'm adamantly disappointed. Very disappointed. Um, and they want $3.49 for the four baits. I'd rather be, be given a bait and they say it's worth friggin' $5 and I get six or eight. Um, but... You know, it is what it is. Personally, my opinion, the best bait out of this entire box is going to be this jointed wake bait. I'm probably going to see the most use out of this. And the sticky hooks. Sticky hooks. Can't go wrong with, with uh, offset EWGs. Um, and three aughts is a good mid-color, uh, mid-size. So, all that said, value, yes, there's value in this box. I'll definitely say there's value in the box. However, there's inflated value in the box, too, on, on charging ridiculous amounts uh, for sample packs at, you know, $4 here, $4 there. 
and uh, that I don't appreciate. And, and most importantly, I don't appreciate seeing sample sizes in any of my elite uh, tier boxes. So uh, I do like the Weston little swim baits here. Um, I'm, I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of those colors, especially like the June Buggish color, obviously the green pumpkin, and the uh, and the, the, even the, the white and gray, the pearl gray. That's going to be interesting. I'm probably going to end up butchering that and cut it in half and use it as a trailer on that uh, on that Yozuri. Uh, but uh, I do like West. I love Weston Bates. It's a good, great bait company. So we'll see. We'll see how that pans out. That being said, um, yeah, short and sweet. Uh, I was hoping for better. I got to say North Fork Fishing 12, I agree 110%. Um, basically, we got the exact same box. I guess his was probably a, an elite. I'll have to double check. But, uh, yeah, as always, thank you for watching. If you, uh, if you enjoyed this, like, share, and subscribe. Um, pay attention. We're getting closer and closer to that 500. I think we're at 465, 464. I don't know. The number keeps going up and down. And if you have not already, go back, go through my list of, ch of videos, check out my birthday, Valentine's kind of prize giveaway that we're going to have for the Angler's Hall Pro Box for November. Um, you still have a chance to win. There's, it's a really simple way to enter into the contest. We have quite a few uh, uh, viable applicants. So get on board, do what the, uh, the rules stipulate, make sure I can see that, and uh, well, I'm checking up. So when I see it happen, I see it happen and your name gets chalked off for, uh, for entry. And somebody very shortly at the end of this month on the 29th is going to win that box. So uh, as always, tight lines. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace.